Hello learners of all ages, my name is Mr. Montgomery. I teach fourth and fifth grade math and today we're going to learn how to multiply decimals by whole numbers. Now, when it comes to multiplying decimals, there is a trick that we can teach. Is that we need to get the decimal place to the end and remember how many spaces we moved that decimal place. That's step number one. So for my example here, I have six tenths times 13 and 13 is my whole number. I don't have to align the decimal places any fancy way when you multiply decimals. You line up the numbers as is and keep the decimal places where they need to be. But in this case, I have a decimal place. I need to move it to the end. And you'll see why in just a second. So now I basically have six times 13. Or I could flip it around and say 13 times six and make it a little bit more simple. That's something that we know how to do. Six times three is 18, carry the one. 6 times 1 is 6, plus 1 is 7. Now, do you remember how I moved it over one place to the very end? Well, now I need to move it one place back to where it's supposed to be. So I take my decimal place that's at the end, I move it back to here, and my answer is 7 and 8 tenths. Let's take a look at a decimal that's in the hundredths. So I have 0 and 49 hundredths times 29. Well, I'm going to take my decimal and move it to the end. One space, two space. If you need to move, like, uh, write a little two up here to remind yourself that you need to move it back over two spaces at the end, that's what I like to do. Now I have 49, essentially, times 29. We know how to do double-digit multiplication. 9 times 9 is 81. And 9 times 4 is 36. 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. So I have 44 right here. I'm gonna add a zero for my uh, having nothing left to give for nine and cross that out as well. Now I have two times nine is 18, and two times four is eight. Oop, 18, there we go. Two times four is eight plus one is nine, there we go. And I'm gonna be adding those two numbers together. One plus zero is one, four plus eight is 12, carry that. And nine plus five is 14. So then I need to move my decimal place from the end back two spaces over. One, two, put it here. And my answer should be 14 and 21 hundredths. And let's do one last example where we go to the thousandths place. So I have seven and 891 thousandths times 56. You know the drill, we need to move the decimal place over to the end, but we move it three spaces. I'm gonna put a three right here. Now I have essentially 7,891 times 56. And I can do this if I just take my time. 6 times 1 is 6. 6 times 9 is 54. Ooh, that's supposed to be a 4. That's supposed to be the 5. 6 times 8 is 48. 49, 50, 51, 52, 53. And 6 times 7 is 42. 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. I have my comma here. There we go. Cross out the six, cross out any numbers that I have used in that section, and I have zero things left to give. Five times one is five. Five times nine is 45, carry the four. Five times eight is 40, plus four is 44. And five times seven is 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. And I'm gonna add all this together. I have six, nine, eight, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. 14 and four and comma would be brought down. So now here's the part where I have to move my decimal place three places over. So actually I don't need that comma right now. I'm gonna start from the end, go three places over to the left. One, two, three at my decimal point. So I should have 400 or 40, 441 and 896 thousandths. All right, my fifth graders, if we take a look at page 201 in your workbook, you'll see that we're going to be doing practice problems number five, eight, and 14. The directions say use random to estimate, then find the product. If you just want to find the product, that's okay. But if you want to use the strategy of rounding to see if your answer or what your answer is supposed to be close to, you're more than welcome to do that method. If you have any questions on multiplying decimals by whole numbers, please let me know when you come to class tomorrow.